This is the Five on Five podcast presented by Direct Music Service. DMS is my favorite record pool on the internet. I'm constantly showing these guys music from there from Audio One, Danny Diggs, Drew Pierce. I'm pretty annoying about it. Make sure you go check out their record pool right now. DJs, go. Directmusicservice.com. Go. Go to the website. You're still here? Just go. go. Like, go. Go now. Go now. Go. Pause the show and go. Turn this off. Go. Come back, though. Come back. <laughs> this is the five on five podcast i am phenom to my right jupiter williams coming live from a couple blocks from me to my bottom right coming live from beautiful las vegas nick lopez and below me who's actually above me coming live from vancouver <laughs> makes a noise for dj marvel <laughs> yo yes. marvel thank you thank you for joining us how you living good man how are you guys we're man, well, we're, we're trying we're trying to escape the smoke here in Portland, so. Yeah, we, we had rain yesterday. Did you guys get rain? No, we're waiting I, for it. That's what yet. we've been waiting for. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it helped. We saw blue sky for the first time in a while. And just, like, now I'm just looking into downtown, and there's, like, definitely haze, but above it is, like, uh, like you know, a little bit of blue sky. Yeah. A little bit of hope. <laughs> a little bit of hope. A little hope in the sky. Of course, of course we, we live in Portland where it rains all the time, and we haven't right. gotten rain. I know. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. Just between no, nothing. Like, Portland and Vancouver, like, yeah, it's been crazy for the last week. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Totally crazy. Well, as we do every week, uh, if this is your first time joining us, we compare two artists, their top five on Spotify as voted most popular. We put them head to head five rounds. And then after that, we ask our guests a bunch of uh, rapid fire questions, um, put them in the lightning round and see how they do. This week's pick is Jupiter Williams. Travis, what do you got for us? Yes, yes. Uh, before I before I name off the picks, um, yo, we need to stop killing black people. Man. We need to stop brutalizing black people. What happened in Georgia is the same thing that happened to me my freshman year in college. Should not happen. Um, and I'm glad I'm glad that we're kind of getting to a, a a place where where we're getting some justice for Breonna Taylor. But it, it it's a long road. Still needs to go on. Stop being afraid of our dark skin. Okay, let's go. Percent. Let's go. All right. So, a guy by the name of Billy Joel. He wrote a song. His most popular song is called Piano Man. Well, he wrote the song about himself. Today. We are going to see who is the ultimate piano man. Oh no, I don't like this. Elton John versus Stevie Wonder. Ooh. No, oh, hey. I don't like this. And and it's bad. It's really bad. Okay. I don't like this. The I don't picks like are this. really bad. You mean? No, no like you're not going to feel good about your picks. Oh, okay. You're not going to feel good at all about this. <laughs> All right. Best case scenario, the picks would be bad. That that would be ideal. Right. Yeah. And, that, and that's not the case though. Actually, Spotify uh, got it got it pretty spot on with these. All right. All right. Round so one. Round Do one. Worst. Elton John, Rocket Man, versus Stevie Wonder, Science Still Delivered. Let's go. We're out of the gates, guys. Out of the gates. Let's go. Uh, Marvel lead off. <laughs> <laughs> you going up to the wolves right now? All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Rocket Man just for the way like it makes you feel when you hear it. The the first one, the, the Stevie one's obviously a party classic, but I'm gonna go with Rocket Man just based All on right. feels. Yeah, no, that's that's a great pick. I'm right there with you after watching Rocket Man. Without a doubt, my choice is Rocket Man. That is such a powerful song. It's an absolute banger. And um, I would say it is as good as Bohemian Rhapsody as far as songs. It's close. It's up there. That might be a hot take, but uh, I'm going Rocket, man. Nick, what do you got? Uh, I'm usually really big on songwriting, and um, Rocket Man is up there as one of the best, but I'm going with Stevie on this one. I just like the song better. Whoa. Mm, okay. All right, well, we got two for Elton and one for Stevie, so Elton does take that round. You feel you feel all right, Marvel? Yeah, no, I like it. I like <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Just check. <laughs> all right, I'm, enjoy I'm glad somebody's enjoying themselves. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> round two. two. Round two, I'm still standing, Elton John versus Stevie Wonder, Superstition. 
Oh, wow. Yep. Um, I'm going with superstition right out the gate. Um, really complex time signature changes. Yeah. And it's still a, like a solid pop song. Uh, yeah, easy. Not to, I mean, easy for me, but like any Elton John song is crazy. Um, but this I'm going might, with Stevie here again. Th this might be one of our first uh, kind of seasonal songs that made it up on the on the top five. Right. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say too. Is like it's kind of a seasonal track too. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. Um, I'm there with you. Uh, I'll go Stevie. Both in my mind are perfect ten songs. Uh, superstition just inches out just a little bit because as soon as you see like any any found footage of Stevie performing this, it's just an instant vibe. It's mm -hmm. an awesome fucking song, yeah. and you, it instantly the vibe just flows over you. So I'm with Nick on that. Marvel, what do you got? Uh, I'm gonna go with just from like being a personal favorite and uh, DJ playability. I'm gonna go with superstition too. Okay. Yeah. That's another Steve. thing that should be mentioned. That is a song that just goes off every time yeah. anyone plays it yeah. anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. So, yeah. yeah, Stevie That's with the sweep on round two. It's a sweep. Yeah. Okay, round three. Elton John, Tiny Dancer mm. versus Stevie Wonder, I Just Called to Say I Love You. Oh. Yeah, Spotify didn't miss. Spotify did not miss with these two. Spotify did good this time. I'm not going first on this one. Somebody else. I don't else. want to go either. I don't want to go either. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going with Elton John. Uh, I love 80s Stevie. I hate this single. Sure. This isn't mine for okay. me. Okay. Okay. What makes, can I just ask what makes you hate it? Because I've, I've heard that before too. Mm -hmm. um, some of, with 80s Stevie, especially in the singles, uh, they can be kind of campy, like in just major keys. And yep. they're too like bouncy in the in sure. like mm -hmm. it's not a four four it's almost like a two two mm -hmm. yeah um I, I it does it's too campy for me um and the I, some of the like the key choices like the synth choices are they just don't do it for me yeah that's fair that is fair um i'll go i'm gonna go against the grain here with everything that neek just said only <laughs> only because um, every year my grandmother would call me on my birthday and sing me I Just Called to Say It. And hands down. Hands down. That gets my vote hands down. That's just a special memory. But if you don't have that memory, then fucking Tiny Dancer all day. Like, <laughs> of course. <laughs> he's like, he's like, yeah, I agree to disagree with everything that he said. I'm Going to. And myself, and myself <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Marvel, what do you got for us? Uh, I'm gonna go like last, last time I referenced the DJ thing, and I remember like in like the mashup era, somehow I got to uh, I just called to say I love you on a mix, and I'm like this is gonna be the greatest thing ever. But then people totally made fun of it. I think similar for the reasons that like Nick said. <laughs> 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 no, I thought I was onto something. So that kind of <laughs> turned me off of the song completely. And I think Tiny Dancer just kind of like has like a magical feeling to it. So I'm going to go with Tiny Dancer. Hell yeah. Hey, that was, that was um, I, there I there are no wrong myself. answers. I right. want to correct myself. I said it's more of a 2-2 two -two and like a 4-4. Four -four, and I know somebody in the comics is going to come for me. Oh, I yeah, feel like they've been coming at me lately. It's still a 4-4. Four -four. It's not exactly a, a waltz, <laughs> but it's the same <laughs> fun. That's a different, yeah. So waltz your way out of the comments right now. So waltz your fucking ass it out does, of the comments. It does have a waltz vibe. Martini. <laughs> Man. You know they're, they, you know they're going to come for you, too. There's always yeah, yeah. There's a person been, on bro. YouTube. Yeah. There's a guy on YouTube, right, that's just gunning. Yeah, I have somebody on YouTube that's just kicking my ass lately. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yo, little meek. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Round two, four. one out in round four. Round four, we got uh, Elton John, your song, versus Stevie Wonder for Once in My Life. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the hardest round. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll go Stevie. They're both, once again, I mean, you said it, Travis, they, they really – did good mm -hmm. on this. The most popular songs are great fucking songs. 
Um, for no rhyme or reason, I'm going to go Stevie. It could change tomorrow and be your song. So run it. Run it. Marvel, what you got? Uh, I'm going to also go for Once in My Life. It's one of my wife's favorite songs, too. So. Oh, there we go. That's a double vote for those of you keeping track at home. That is a double vote. That is a double vote. Yes. Um, Mrs. Marvel gets one. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Marvel gets one. Uh, I'm, I'm going with Stevie. This is probably my favorite Elton John song. But my favorite Elton John song isn't as good as any Stevie best song to me. So I'm going with that. Mm, okay. Stevie with a sweep on that one. All right, yeah. round five is going to de determine this. Uh, All right. I don't like this. Go ahead. <laughs> Elton John, uh, Don't Go Breaking My Heart versus Stevie Wonder, Sir Duke. I'm so tired of, like, last round decision-making scenarios <laughs> right now. <laughs> the NBA has me so stressed with the <laughs> So this is this feeling is very reminiscent of that. Um, because I want to get this over with, I'll make the first <laughs> choice. <laughs> Sir Duke is probably the most complex. Sir Duke is Stevie Wonder's it is so complex. good vibrations. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. It's it's three songs in one. It is. Um, I. Don't Go Breaking My Heart is just the campiest of campy songs. Uh, nope. Stevie Wonder all day. Stevie. All right, I'll go, and then we'll let Marvel decide this. <laughs> I like it. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going right. Elton John, baby. Okay. <laughs> I hate that. That's hey, so rude minute. of you. Did you, you, went, you went Elton John just to, just to get Marvel on the hot seat, right? This may be the first time that the guest decides the entire game. You're right. Why is this, ah, this weight on my shoulder? I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm first so stressed ever. out right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Well, if it's on me, I'm going to have to go with uh, Sir Duke. Okay. Oh, thank God. That's fair. That's Do you fair. feel good about that answer? Sir John. <laughs> <laughs> I heard yeah, Sir. I feel good about it. <laughs> what do you say? Sir Duke Elton John? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh uh, man! Call him, put him through the lightning round. Wait, oh, actually, yeah, yes. Yeah. Let's do a little bonus round real quick. Let's okay. do it. Let's, let's do, do it. A, let's do a bonus round. Um, let's go Crocodile Rock. Ooh, okay. Man. And for Elton or uh, for Stevie, what was his Beatles cover that he did? Um. Somebody with a phone looked this up. I I, I am drawn to blank. I, I, I don't have a phone. Um, oh. uh, Stevie, May I'm trying to think of which cover he did. Stevie, um, we can work it out. Yep, we, we can, can work, work it, it out. out. Let's go. Let's go. Crocodile Rock versus We Can Work It Out. Okay. Stevie. Okay. Stevie. Yeah. Stevie, I'll yes. go, is that cr across I'll the board? Crocodile Rock just for not just to be different, but just because it's an original song and it's pretty special. To me. And he didn't want that. Heat. He didn't want that heat back on him either. <laughs> no, that's that's a fair. Uh, <laughs> he gonna, he that, gonna put in that pick real quick. <laughs> I'm okay I with too, that reason. That's a good I reason. Too, I too will go Crocodile Rock, which brings us to a round seven. Go on. That would that would mean three and three on each side. Yes. I feel like Stevie Gordon. should get points for doing it better than the Beatles, though. Ooh, good point. Ooh, that's fair. But that that's because you have the second try. Like, it's easy to do it when you're that, following. That is true, too, though. Um, Candle in the Wind. I knew was, you were going to say that. Was an option. Um, or, uh... Wait a minute. Let's go. Let's go. Hold on. How about, how about we do soundtrack cuts? So let's go... Uh, Mulan. Can, Mulan, can Stevie feel? Wonder with 98 Degrees. <laughs> 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 Easy. That should have been number one. The new line right. movie's out. I'll just shut the fuck up, then. <laughs> <Bruh>. No. <laughs> I've been as soon as you said Stevie Wonder, I've been dying to get that out. <laughs> no, we go. We oh, go against Circle of Life. 
<laughs> well, okay. Well, I will. Right. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. I I got Elton for sure. I got I got Elton on this one. Same. Nick Elton, you know it. Stevie in ninety eight degrees, dog. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> this will be edited to say that this was a complete sweep this round. <laughs> Everyone enjoys Circle of Life. Yo. Moving on to the lightning <laughs> round. Uh, Stevie took that. Awesome. That's about as close as it's going to get here. Yes. Um, Marvel, we're going to put you through a lightning round. Uh, I've whittled it down to five questions. It's a this or that. You pick which one you like. Okay. We're going to start with Prince or Michael Jackson? Michael Jackson. Phil Collins or George Michael? Phil Collins. Ja Rule or Nelly? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Nelly. Biggie or Tupac? Biggie. Uh, Al Green or Marvin Gaye? Marvin Gaye. And I always seem to forget to add this one. Outcast or Hall and Oates? Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> the rest were so like neck and neck and this is wow. Okay. Um, outcast. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, Marvel, you're opening a nightclub next week. What is the name of the nightclub and who is the first person you hire as your resident DJ? Oh, okay. The name of my nightclub is um... Avengers Tower. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, the name of the club would be uh, I don't know something easy like I don't know Mike's Place or something like that. Nice. And uh, if you're allowed across the border, I'll hire you as my resident DJ. You know. Hey. Hey. I'll take that. Yes. What is your favorite song to close out a night with? Uh, let me see. Favorite song to close out a night? Uh, like usually uh, maybe Pyramids by Frank Ocean and like. Mm. In its entirety? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like a whatever party feeling, and then it just does all yes. the Hell yeah. And everybody cries. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is the first concert you've ever went to, and what is the best concert you've ever been to? Okay, cool. Uh, first concert I ever went to was... I don't think I went to any with my parents. It might have even been the uh, uh, Puff Daddy and the Family uh, tour, like whatever that album came out. So who said that? Uh, uh, Chris, Chris Via too went right. to the, the the Bad Boy tour. Yes. Oh, yeah, it was sick. Yeah, uh, was the same thing. Bad Boy tour. Yeah, I had like Buster Rhymes, Kid Capri was DJing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Kid Capri was who he saw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's funny. Wow. That, yeah, me and Chris Via are neck and neck on that one. That's crazy. Special one for me. What was the second part of the question? And the best concert I've been to? Best concert, yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe Yeezus, I think. Oh, yeah. 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 Just like seeing the energy like of everybody like underneath the stage. Like I watched from like a, I'm 41, so I watched from up in the stands. But like just seeing <laughs> the energy on the crowd uh, underneath the stage and everything was so cool at mm. that time. Yeah. No, this is, uh, that's a very good pick. Uh, yeah. I would put that up there as well. Um, Did you when I I, I I caught that uh, in Chicago, and I caught it on the first night in Indianapolis. Oh, cool. So, um, in Indy, he was two hours late, so they opened the doors two hours late, which was, like, a, a, a big issue. And I'm up in a skybox as well because I, uh, I was 31 at the time, or 30 at the time, um, in nightclub years that is very old. Yeah. So I'm not I'm not on the floor. I'm up there watching from my vantage point, and all these kids start running, like chasing, yeah, chasing this dude, and they're chasing Travis Scott. Travis Scott was like running through the crowd to get to the sound booth by Mike Dean, and all these Ooh. kids were just dead sprinting. Yeah. Um, he performed Father Stretch about 13 times in a row, I believe. Oh, he said we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep doing it until we get it right. Yeah. He said, "This is the yeah, first night of the tour. Mm -hmm. We're gonna keep, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep doing it." Um, and yeah, I totally agree with you. To me, that show was like, and I told my buddy at the time, it's like witnessing the "Smells Like Teen Spirit" video live. Yeah, totally. Where there's just kind of that glow over everything, and kids are just losing their minds, moshing, 
Yeah. And everything was frozen in that moment in time. And I totally agree with you. Or I'm sorry, I'm thinking the um, the Pablo tour. But yes, the Jesus tour with the mountain as well. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. You're thinking Pablo. What's the one where it was like. Uh, Pablo. Oh, Pablo, my bad. That's Pablo, Pablo yeah. yeah. Jesus had, had the mountain. And yeah, that for yes. me, that's that was up there as well. Too. Yeah. Pablo, my bad. Yeah. See, yeah. I went I went to the Yeezus one in Seattle and that was the that was the first one of the whole tour. He he did the same exact thing, Colin. It's crazy. Yeah. It's it, it's a total um it's a three sixty experience. Mm -hmm. Visually, the merch is, is off the wall. Yeah. Um the crowd, there's just hypey central. Everybody is dressed to the fucking nights. People yeah. are dressing like they're going to the Olympics or mm -hmm. something like that, you know? <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. when you see it, these people are, are just, everyone is is dressed for uh, such a monumental event. Mm -hmm. totally. I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever see that again from any musician, but it's kind of like yeah, a, Kanye a, a shows place in time. Yeah. yeah. And you know? Just, just to add to my memory of that, I remember like, um, being that we were up a bit, I guess Mike Dean had been set up and he was like pretty much like two rows in front of me with this whole like synth. Oh, area, yeah. Like crazy well, area. It was just like, a, I had the perfect view of that and just like clouds of smoke coming out of there it was the best. That was the best highlight for me. Oh, that's how. Yeah. That's also the cleanest sound too. That's like yeah. right where you want to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, Let me ask you this, kind of following into that. Um, in the nightclub, uh, in the nightclub DJ experience, what's the biggest tip you've ever gotten to play a song, and what song was that? Oh, uh, money wise. Uh, yes. Um, when I worked on a cruise ship, I think there was this guy who's just like some like oil dude with like a bunch of chicks with him, and he just wanted me to keep DJing. Uh, and I think maybe like it was close to a thousand dollars just to like. Kind of, it was more of just like a keep DJing, hey, play this song, play this song. So it's for a specific song I can't think of. Uh, I want to say like, it was like, he was just like trying to stay as hyper as possible. It might have been even something like Sandstorm or something. Like just like, <laughs> <laughs> like kind of when the, when the staff's at the point of just like, okay, guys, can we cut it kind of thing? But he just kept giving me money. So I was like, that's kind of what I experience. Oh, that wow. That is great. Great. Uh, yes. <laughs> <a little> fireball. <laughs> what what is what is this like DJing on a cruise ship? Oh well, I mean, this was when I was like twenty, so it was the best for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. I was a Canadian, like traveling the world at twenty, like making American dollars, which was equal to like gold at that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the best. Yeah, definitely. Um, what's the furthest you've traveled to DJ? Uh, at that time, would have been around then, I guess. When I, I guess I went to Norway for that. Was that? Was oh, cool. nice! Yeah, oh, that wow! Was, yeah, that was pretty cool. That's rad. What uh, is your favorite curveball song to throw in during a set? Uh, like, maybe like a TV theme or something like that. Cheers oh. or something like that. Like something random. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <That's> awesome. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> So like you kind of have people turn around, but the, then the rest of the room singing, you know, like just like something random. Depends on the crowd. Okay. Okay. That, yeah. That or if it's like a much younger crowd, just like whatever, like the hot meme of the moment is, I'll try to like incorporate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> for like, oh, you know, yeah. could be cheesy, but it's also if people get it. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's see here. I have I have so many questions in this thing. In a movie, they're filming a movie about DJ Marvel. Who's playing DJ Marvel in the movie? Oh, hang on. Oh, man. Someone said I looks like someone the other day. Uh, what's the guy? Hang on. Can I Google? Hold yeah, absolutely. Theo, Theo James. Now I want to look who that is. <laughs> Dang, one of you nailed it. <laughs> He's like, yes. Everyone always uh, tells me I look guy, like Theo James. way too handsome to be me. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> who's a guy, who's a light skin guy maybe from Saturday Night Live who does the news? Uh, Fred the Armiston? Not that guy? No. <laughs> you are not Fred <laughs> Armiston. <laughs> I know, that's what I was about to say. Shit. Oh man, someone just did this to me last week. I can't remember the guy's name. Uh, Hang on. Can you ask? Uh, I'm I'm gonna text you know when somebody says something and then like 
like now I'm like, do you look like Fred Armisen? <laughs> <laughs> it started with a no way, and then eventually Nick was like, hey, can I get your autograph? I love Fred. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I love Fred. I'm a huge fan. So, um, can, can you come back to that watch? question? Definitely. Yeah. I'll, I'll get the answer. I'm just waiting for the guy to text me back to set it. So, <laughs> um, stranded on an island, you get to bring one album with you. What is it? Oh, okay, uh, I'm gonna go Midnight Marauders. Sick. Ooh, nice. 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 Yeah. I love a hip hop pick. Yeah. Yes. That yeah. is our that's our second hip hop pick. Yes. Uh Jeffrey Jordan pick Blueprint. Uh that episode just came out um the other day. Let me ask you this. Ten minutes call what, it. Copy. What was the first cassette or record that you owned? Um, I think I want to say, uh, Fear of a Black Planet, I think I bought. Dope. Yeah. That was like my first pick outside of whatever my parents gave me, you know? Hell yeah. That's a, that's a great, like first, first pick. I think I took my money back when Blockbuster music was a thing. I took my money and bought CNC Music Factory. I bought okay. the Shaq Fu album. <laughs> and then I bought Salt and Peppa. Those were, <laughs> that was my one, two, three. And then I think either that year or the year before for Christmas, um, I found out Santa isn't real because under okay. my mom's bed was the Weezer wow. Blue album on cassette that I had asked for for Christmas. So uh-huh. opened it up two days later and saw the blue album. Did you so, act surprised? What's that? Did you act surprised and continue to get gifts for the years to come? Totally. Totally. <laughs> but I deep down so, inside you were dying. Deep down inside I was dying. <laughs> it's it's a long play because I haven't told her yet that Santa is not real, that I no longer realize that the gist is up here. <laughs> <laughs> I've just become more surprised as the years go on. I'm just like, it's very disturbing. Man, Santa is consistent. <laughs> I can't believe this is still happening. It's just blown away. Uh, I found the answer. Oh, what who is, is it? it? Yeah. Uh, so it's Trevor Noah. Trevor oh, Noah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I can kind of see it. Kind of. Yeah. 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 Casting didn't get their first request, but this is what someone said, so let's go. With it. Fair enough. <laughs> hey, okay, hey, roll with yeah. that one. Yeah, roll with that one. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm cool yeah. with that. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. <laughs> Nick's like, oh, it looks more like Fred Armisen to me. Yeah, it looks like Fred Armisen. Favorite city to DJ in? Oh, good question. Uh, I'm going to go with. Ooh. I want to say. I'm trying to think of an American place, but I'm thinking like, I want to say like, no, I'm going to say New York. I'm going to say New York. New York. Okay. Yeah. Because there's, I was trying to think of like small, like there's a lot of like small towns in Canada where they just don't get anything. So they really appreciate it. Mm. But on a scale of like music wise, I'm going to say New York. Okay. What is cool. what is uh, what is your what's your ideal small town in Canada to play? Like, what's what's one of your favorites? I would say like Calgary. Calgary's Calgary. Really, yeah, okay. just because they have like a they have a pretty big like the people that are like owning venues and stuff are like really music heavy, so they've always like programmed them really well uh, since the '90s or whatever. So they just kind of like adapted with that. Mm. That's dope. What kind of vibe are you of playing little... out there? Say that again. What kind of vibe are you playing out there? Um, like, fun, I guess. It depends. Mm-hmm. Like, it, 10 years ago, like, just more, like, fun mashup and stuff. But then the last couple of times I went there was more, like, this, like, new rap focus. Okay. For similar parties. Mm-hmm. You did mention New York. Uh, so I feel it's only right that we ask you, what is the best pizza you've ever had and where is that from? <laughs> okay. Uh, I do, speaking of New York, I really do enjoy uh, Prince Street Pizza. Just because they don't have anything like that here in Can- oh, Vancouver anyways. So I'm going to say Prince yeah. Street. How long did you wait? Uh, I've gone where I've waited and I've gone where I just walk right up. Just depends uh, yeah. on the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Last time we were there, uh, we, we were there last year. Huh. Um, I made a whole day of it. I did, I did Sway that morning, then went right over to Prince Street after. 
Yeah. Uh, it was about 100 degrees outside, so there was no line. Yeah. You get right in, and there's no air conditioning in there. Um, if you guys haven't been to Prince Street yet, it is sensational. Uh, quarter slices, pepperoni on top, yeah. super greasy. And if you look at the wall, there's hundreds yeah. of celebrities that have been there. I was going to ask. kind of an in and out. Do you have a favorite picture on the wall there? Uh, man. I remember there being some people from Sopranos, right? Yeah, I, I, I feel like, yeah. yeah. That that place is an absolute trip. Um, I would definitely shout that out. We do like to ask, what are or what is your off the radar hidden gem in Vancouver? I know you took me to a place that was sensational. Me, uh, Nick Bike, and you went to Cambodian spot. Oh yeah. So was it Nam Pen? Nam Pen? Yeah. Near yeah. my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna say that. That's definitely it. Yeah. Just like. Uh, Cambodian, they're really known for their like chicken wings, which are fire. Uh, like the beef lick lack is really good. It's right across the street from my house, which is dangerous. And like people from out of town are like, oh, you must go there all the time. But it's again, like for example, when you're in town, like we know to take you there because it's pretty unique. You mentioned Sway earlier. I even took them there. I took, I took the beet nuts there. <laughs> Just like, oh, what? Wow. Dang, crazy. <laughs> the out of towner spot for sure. Nice. Yeah, that place, that place rules. And I remember when we went there, there was like little, little to no wait. And you guys were blown away. You're yeah. like, usually, usually it's like an hour, come back, you know? Yeah. And now with COVID, like they just have like a window and a debit terminal at the window, mm -hmm. like in, in the line of the block, you know? I, oh, I would great. prefer that for all restaurants, actually, just a window, just in and out and yeah. then, you know, be on your not, way. Not much emotion when they're serving you. It's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, Travis, you haven't asked any Marvel questions yet, and that's that's bothering me. Uh, you know what? It was going to be really cl cliche. Okay. <laughs> run, <laughs> run it. Run All right. it. Run it. Fa favorite Marvel comic book? Uh, I'm going to go with... I'm going to say, well, my kid has gotten me back into Marvel comic books, and there's this uh, Spider-Man Wolverine like five-part series that we've been reading together. Oh, and mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. Favorite Marvel movie? Uh, Black Panther. Yes. Sick. Nice. Not just not just because of the yeah. Reason. No, no, no. I'm I'm right there with you. Yeah. I'm right there with. Well, obviously. Yeah. No, I saw. That. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you had one superpower, what would it be? Um, being able to freeze time and just like do things while the time's frozen. I think. Okay. Sick. It will. Okay. Is it freezing time or is it running fast? Freezing time. Okay, cool. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah. Were you trying That's to convince so weird. him that it was like... running fast? Well, I mean, <laughs> it's only because it's happened it. in the movies a few times. Yes. Yeah. I was. Yeah. I was just trying to specify it. That's all. Yeah. I need what clarification is... for myself for my graphic novel in my head. All right. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Um, we haven't asked you yet. What is the best movie you've seen this year? Dude, I haven't. I've been learning Twitch. I haven't been watching movies. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I no, let's definitely talk about that because every is it every Sunday is the the uh, stream team. Every second Sunday. Every second Sunday. Yeah, so okay. We just did one on the thirteenth. The next one coming up is on the twenty seventh. Hell yeah! Uh, so where, explain to people listening. Yeah. Okay, so that just happens on my Twitch page, and we just feature like a lineup. It started with a lineup of five, but then I just reduced it to three, just so it's like more focused on the guests. Um, and that happens on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv uh, slash DJ Marvel. And yeah, the next one's on the 27. I haven't announced a guest yet, but I'll tell you guys. Uh, the guests are going to be uh, DJ ADMC. Nice. And also Boogie Brown from the Bay, who's been killing it on Twitch, too. Oh, dope. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, do you do you enjoy Twitch? I mean, I know it's it's not ideal, but it is a pivot. Um, are you yeah. Are you finding that you're making a lot of new fans on there? Are you changing what you're playing? Are you prepping for sets? How is that going? Sure. Uh, do I enjoy it? Yes, absolutely. Now that, now that, I mean, obviously there's so much more to learn, but now that I feel I have a comfortable knowledge of what I'm doing, I can just focus on the music part and just, yeah, dig in different directions for songs. Mm -hmm. Like I'll pick, I'll pick theme. I don't just go on like every single day. Like I just have, I definitely have to feel motivated to do it. Um, and when I do sets, I try to like have an idea of what I'm getting into just so I can focus on the other stuff. Um, I've done it where I just wing sets too, and that and that's 
a different experience and that's really good too so oh yeah it just, right. i do like it that's right uh, yeah it no is. i mean that that seems like the wave you know until and and do you feel like you'll continue to stream once yeah. everything gets back yeah, yeah. Definitely. because I, I again I, i'm just doing it periodically so i don't think like i'm not gonna let anyone down by not being on every day or something you know what i mean mm -hmm. so like yeah, the yeah. amount i'm contributing i'll continue to do for sure you do pick the right times to twitch though because every time i would look online i would see that there is no one really competing with your time and yeah. everybody goes to you i wouldn't say everybody but yeah some do um, yeah I think, a lot of djs yeah. yeah yeah totally um i've gone on i've, I've sometimes I've, been, I've thought oh god saturday like people dj on saturdays i gotta go too and i and i have gone it goes okay but yeah there's just so many options and like just like club hopping in a busy club district like people just go here 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 mm -hmm. whereas if you pick those kind of off times even if maybe there's not a lot of people on it could be more engaging for the total totally. are are uh clubs in like is there any events starting to open up again is there outdoor work or right uh i have an outdoor gig this this thursday i have one but clubs have definitely shut down again they've opened and shut i was doing like a happy hour spot for the last like four months or something uh on a friday and and they pulled the plug on that too so yeah. things just re shut down as a precaution not necessarily because of a huge spike i'm yeah. in the same boat same boat same thing happened to me, to me yeah so. yeah it's tough because uh out here we were inching towards outdoor events and now now with the air quality it's like don't even go outside <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> inside like we don't want to worry like you know so everything is kind of on hold um, we won't take up too much more of your time. Uh, can you let everybody listening know where they can find you online? Um, yep. Kind of tell them uh, where you're at on socials. Sure. I mean, I mainly just use um, Instagram, uh, Instagram DJ Marvel, uh, Twitch DJ Marvel, uh, Twitter I have I use as well, but it's DJ underscore Marvel. Those are the main the main ones I'd say. Uh, and just one plug that relates to this. Earlier you mentioned uh, when we were starting, you hyped it up with the Piano Man thing. And I just Googled, and back in November of 2017, I did a mix on Sway in the Morning that was all, like, piano-themed. Oh, word. I have the link to you. I'll, I'll send yeah. it to you guys. You want to check yeah, that link. It's still up, so. You did a flute one as well, right? I did two flute ones. So this oh, is, like, what? an okay. option. Yeah. I like it. That's a really cool theme, is to pick, like, an instrument. Yeah. yeah, and just kind of I mean, work around that. That's cool. So, yeah, I mean, I definitely put a lot of thought into these ones, so you'll be like, "Oh, look at that! Look at that!" Like, there's like, yeah. it's a fun thing to listen to, you know? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, send that sure. link. Sure. Uh, we do want to mention uh, you design clothes too. Before oh. we get off here, I didn't even get a chance to talk about that. Okay. Uh, you've been making some amazing merch. Uh, I saw the WAP flip. Oh, yeah, that yeah. you recently put out uh tell people where they can ca catch that at too sure yeah so i i run a thing like i mentioned with the streams called the homie depot uh which is a lot of flips of stuff pop culture music reference stuff as well as like a core collection of merch uh and that's all available at the homie depot.com and the instagram for that is uh it's the homie depot it's the oh yeah cool. Got it. marvel thank you so much for yeah, joining us you. man oh, my pleasure, we man. We've learned so much about you today. We've learned so much about the ins and outs of uh, of some of the things you've done in your career. And I've also learned that uh, I'm not ready for an Elton John versus Stevie Wonder debate. So, <laughs> uh, thank you again. Tune in next week uh, to the 5 on 5 podcast where we will have guest Big Once coming live from Once. Chicago. Nice. Yeah. Take care, y'all. Stay safe. Wear your masks. Peace. Right. Later. Peace.